Today on Logan Lee Adventures. Morning, guys. So we're having some traditional Maldivian breakfast with coconut tuna and egg and some wraps to wrap it in. Welcome to the Maldives, where the rays of the sun is like a dream, a sovereign archipelago nation positioned privately in the Indian Ocean. My boyfriend and I are here on our travel, specifically the island of Ugalis in the Maldives. An island that when we're standing in the middle of, we can see the ends of its shores on either side of the road. The charm to its life here is the slow, easy, with a mixture of sea salt and breeze. Ooh, a restaurant on this 1,000 person island. Is that a Michelin star restaurant? <laughs> it's definitely a Michelin star restaurant. Here he is. Yes. yes. The best thing to do on any island getaway is to eat, tan, and swim. Our time here is all about that, in between making love, of course. Paradise. The very concept of it has humans chasing after legends such as heaven, nirvana, and this tropical island country can also be a slice of it. To me, paradise is just the small, nameless moments of joy shared with the person who matters to you. What's most significant about our trip in the Maldives is, surprise, Yurin asked me to move in with him. And I said yes. We're going to have a beautiful life together in the Netherlands. We spent a lot of time on this beach talking about our future, about growing together, living together, a bond through to old age. Some people who are dating only get to see each other a few times a week. We are really grateful that we get to be with each other every single day. And while traveling together, we do everything with each other, from eating, adventures, to mischief. That it feels like it has accelerated our relationship in a wonderful way that makes our moving in and living with each other feels natural to us. And I can't wait to continue creating our life together. Our adventure continues with our new Medivian friend Musad. We met him at Gaia Sunrise Inn, where he invited us out to his family dinner, a traditional meal in the Maldives. So for dinner, we're having this great barbecue featuring local fish on this great grill with local family of Musad. <laughs> the seafood was freshly caught today in the Indian Ocean. We have over four different types of tremendous fishes along with squid grilled over open flames after being marinated and doused in traditional spices and citruses. When they say the Maldives is a paradise, I'm pretty sure they mean a dinner like this. Caught by line fishing in the middle of the ocean, this is what Musad's family has done in this island nation for centuries. It's coconut milk mixed with water. Yeah. So basically, you just put in your rice. Yeah. And you put in your bokir and put a little bit of sugar for your taste. Ah, and just mix it up. so simple. Yeah. Ah. And it complements very nicely with the spicy fish. This is a red snapper. Red snapper. Skip chicken. Skip jar. Skip jar. Ah. Okay. Onions and chili, and it, the texture and everything becomes whole. whole. <laughs> mm. Mm. Just the spices and everything is so good. It's a traditional Maldivian meal. Mm. That's traditional. Bum, 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 bum. Food in the Maldives is eaten with your right hand, so scooping it up here I go. And like in any Asian household, we're encouraged to eat to our capacity, just the way I like it. As a traveler, moments like these define our experiences. Sitting around a table of people who have perfected this food for generations, sharing this culture with us is truly special. Here comes the eyeball. And inside the eye, there'll be the other soft For this? There you go. Chew it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like licorice. Mm. That's softer, that's nice. Yeah. Morning everyone, so we're on our way to go scuba diving and see some manta rays. Yes, that's right, a full morning of manta rays.
Okay, now full confession time. I'm always up for an adventure, even when snorkeling in the middle of the Indian Ocean while I lack the swimming skills. Yes, you heard me right. I can hardly swim. Only a few months ago, I took swimming lessons back home, but I can still barely float. Yet I'm still going to dive into this endless body of water. I'm freaking out. Are you? Yurin says he has my back, but that doesn't mean that I won't pee myself. I guess my pee will be in the ocean anyway, so it doesn't matter. What Yurun did was, after a while, help me by having me hold onto his body while he swims, and then we saw them. Beautiful, giant, majestic manta rays. We spent the rest of the day snorkeling above corals and swimming in the Indian Ocean. Once I crossed that threshold of fear, it was absolute blissful fun. That night, we ended our time in the Maldives watching a local band singing away barefoot in the sand. Thanks everyone for joining us in this paradise getaway. Hit subscribe for more of our upcoming travels, give this video a like and leave us a comment. We love hearing from you. Stay tuned for our next adventure.